All right, hello everybody, and we're back here on Walk Boys Garage. And today we've got a little bit of a different setup in here. So the end piece is out. I cleaned everything up, and I got the two final pieces sitting here. Uh, I took the four wheelers for the ride the other day. Didn't do any footage of that, but got these all painted up. These wheels are done, so all the wheels are done now. So, and then there were two. So, I have this tube to paint yet, the middle tube that hooks everything together, and the hitch. Uh, the hitch, we did some work on. We heated it with a torch here. And then we pressed it down with a backhoe bucket and took a pipe wrench with a tube, bent it. So now it's straight-ish. It's pretty beat up, but you know, this is the part that hooked to and everything and welded her up. So it's a decent, you know, it is the object that gets beat up the most in the wagon really, except for the bed. But yep, I get this primed. It's actually a decent day today. It's probably be the last decent day till I'd say end of February, March. My, is my guess today they want a high of 60 degrees so i'm out in the shed getting stuff painted up even though it's pretty cold i'm out here it's sweatshirt weather i'm gonna do me some painting kind of just trying to get as much done as i can here so that's what i'm gonna be doing and then this i'm probably gonna do this isn't really that cold this and eh, maybe a little bit but my flies are slow today i can hit them but I'll probably do a top on this too. Then probably to finish these, I'll probably do them in the warm shed over there. But today it's nice. I like being in my own shed out here. So get these finished up and then we'll be done. Looks like I have a little spot to do yet on here, but I'll be two minutes and I'll be finished off. Got the four wheelers running pretty good right now. Both will fire right up. I just had this one running for a second. I wanted to see if the battery was dead or not. I had ran it pretty good the other day, so it should be all charged up. I haven't had the Arctic Kitty running in a little bit, but I'm gonna do a couple upgrades on this one. I'm gonna get a new gas cap because that thing's bad. And then over the winter, I'm just gonna decide we have a little winch. I wanna put a winch on this, or I wanna put a winch on this. Um, I really like the Polaris. It's like my favorite four-wheeler out of the two. But the Articat it has a low range, it can go slower. It, I, it climbs really good in the steep mountain. So I'm probably gonna be putting the winch on this one, I'm thinking. Uh, this one, it's kind of open in the front. There's not really a good place to put it. But on this one, if I take out this grate here, I can probably hook it to this tube in here make some kind of plate or something so i'm thinking this would be pretty cool on this one because it already has like a brush guard look in the front this one has all the racks and everything this one's nice to cut trees with so kind of figured the winch would be nice on this one so i'll be a video in the springtime when it gets warm again when i'll probably do some servicing on the four-wheelers but for now i'm gonna be finishing up this wagon and get her all done and we can put a bed on her so all right i'll get to work all right so continuing on here i got the hitch here the top side is already painted that dried dried pretty quick i paid to put some paint on the bottom that tube i took in the heated shed uh i painted the top of it it's still a little tacky i'll probably get the bottom painted tonight or a little bit later so yeah almost done so this is ready for john deere green so then i'll get that on there that's about it get all this painted up and we'll be done so all right we'll see what happens next on my boys garage all right so i'm back here on my boys garage today it's been about i'd say a good at least three weeks since i've been out in the shed working on this uh today is the well, I guess say first half day of Christmas break for me. Um, it's a pretty beautiful day outside today. Uh, it's, I forget what today's date is, but it's Friday. <laughs> and uh, it's in the low to mid 60s today. It's 
windy and it's a little rainy. But right now it's decent. It's not too bad in the shed. I'm, I'm going to light a fire in the shed. It's actually warmer outside than it is in the shed right now. Um, back in my shed, I have the hitch set up. And right now I'm just uh, using a little bit of redneck ingenuity to heat up my paint. The paint was sitting on the cement floor and it was pretty cold. So I'm heating it up here on this radiator I have plugged in. So I'm heating up the paint. Got the John Deere green on there. Getting that ready. So I'm probably going to uh, finish that outside and light a fire in here. Then finish this side of the center tube. Get the hitch finished up. And, well, that's it for doing green and anything else in the wagon. Because here's the front piece here. That's all completely done. <clears throat> got the wheels here. Um, uh, all I got to do is put tires on that. I can do on a weekend sometime here in the winter, maybe over Christmas break, uh, get tires on as such. But uh, once I'm finished with this series, I'm going to post some videos on other projects that I'm going to suggest that I've been thinking of doing myself. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what I want to do next for my next project. Um, the wagon isn't completely done yet, but I just want to keep myself working and have ideas for next spring for doing stuff so once i get this frame done we're gonna put a bed on this hopefully we can pop through that pretty quick and then i'm gonna have a new project that i want to do so there will be future videos to come explaining some of those and uh showing them to you that i want to do uh but for now we're gonna get this wagon finished up i'll see y'all in a bit okay so Got this all painted up, all looking pretty. So this hitch is looking pretty dang nice if I do say so myself. <clears throat> Not to toot my horn or anything, but looks pretty good. So still pretty nice out. So I'm gonna let this dry. If this gets dry, I'm gonna light fire in the shed over there uh, so it's nice and warm. I'm gonna paint that other side of that tube and with the nice and warm shed, that should dry pretty quick. So I'm going to put that up. And if this is dry, I'm going to take that in there. And then flip this over and paint that in there so it dries quicker. I'll get everything done. And I don't have to have these horse saw horses sitting in here anymore. So again, before we was in and out, I took the Arctic Kitty for a little ride. But I just had a dead battery. So, what a shame. <laughs> I'll get it running. No worries. Uh, those wheels, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. I finished them. Uh, they didn't turn out too shiny, but I might polish them and see how it turns out. If not, I can, I still got a decent amount in there. I'll just go over them again. But it's, again, I like doing a nice job on stuff, but it is a flat wagon. <laughs> Who's really going to care that much about a flat wagon? Um, I'm really putting a lot of work into it and I really like it, but... I like doing nice stuff, so. All right, so I'm gonna get back to work here and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so a little update on what I'm doing right now. So this is the pin that holds the hitch onto the front of the first, I don't know if you could call it, uh, the chassis, the chassis. Um, this was like really pitted and stuck in there. We had to beat it out of the sledgehammer. You can see it was really pitted yet. Well, I shined it up. I got it all cleaned up. Um, got this all good. So I'll show you what I'm doing at the moment. Because I have the front half in here. I didn't get a chance to paint that yet. It's coming. It's coming. Um, that's the front half here. Back in this corner. Get my big old butt down in here. So, what I have here is my Dremel 4000. Um, let me try to get the camera folded right there. There. So right here I got my Dremel 4000 with a little wire wheel on the end. So all I'm basically doing is this. Just cleaning up the inside of that so it slides real nice in. So all I'm doing is just going around the edge getting that all nice and cleaned up like I was on. 
cloning it out basically, but you just wire reeling inside of it. Get it all nice and clean. Now, rinse and repeat to do the same thing on the other side. I highly recommend these Dremel tools. They are amazing. They can do so many different things, and they're so nice to have. So I definitely recommend if you're into fixing stuff, cleaning stuff up, fabrication, get a Dremel tool. <laughs> you won't regret it. And right here, I got the tube out, flipped over. I'm gonna paint this side, get that all painted up, and that's what I'm gonna be doing, basically. So. This piece up here. Got this piece up here. So this what so basically I'll show you what this actually does. Back here. Okay. So we have this pin here and have this. So the hitch has two little like things that come out around here on either side. On either side of this. What this pin does, the hitch will be right here, like a little slot. And this will go through, it'll slide through, and it'll beat down like that on the hitch, then it'll be locked in. I think a bolt goes through here too. But I needed to get this that it slides in and out real nice, that I won't have any trouble getting it back in. See these grease shirts were all filled with crap, and that's all cleaned out now. So, that's... Well, I was just working on trying to get everything sorted out. So, I'll get this painted and we'll be on our dandy way. All right, so, just put a little paint on this center tube here. Uh, it's actually looking beautiful. It's nice and warm here now. I have fire raging. And this is, uh, well, I'll show you what I was using this for. My paint is really thick, so, set it right on there like that. Or sit there and warm up and stir it. it worked amazing but it's nice and warm in here tonight we have the fire going but that done so that's all finished up completely done um that pin right here so finished up this pin all nice and smooth now the pits are still there because they're really deep pits but it's nice and smooth i cleaned it up cleaned the edges up so i'll probably when it's not raining out like it is right now i'll take it outside i'll spray it and then when i have a fire going i'll let it hang over there by the fire to let it bake in uh i'm probably just only gonna spray this piece because it goes out along the hitch like this you'll never see that uh middle part and i'll just cause other problems if I paint that so so that's about it um once this dries hopefully it stops raining for a good two minutes so I can run the hitch in here because I just went out and checked that and that is dry and well it's it's a little like when you like rub your hand across it like doesn't like smooth because it's not completely dry but it's dry enough that I can flip it paint the other side tonight well it's nice and warm in here yet um and i can get that all finished up so we'll see what happens here tonight if we're gonna have another video or not we'll see all right so this is gonna be the end of the video guys um no i did not get the other side of the hitch painted yet that will be in another video upcoming real soon so i want to thank you all guys for watching uh, please like, comment, rate, subscribe, share, do all those good things. Leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. Um, this week, I'm um, trying to post at least every other day. So get ready for that, everybody. So everybody have a nice Christmas and a happy new year, and I'll see you all later.